Hello and welcome to the Curiosity of Gaming. Today we're going to be building the LVT-4. It was used by the Americans and the British during World War II, and the British nicknamed it the Buffalo, although, it's re although it was really called the LVT-4. Anyway, let's get on with the build. Here's what you'll need. I have already built uh, one side of the tracks, as you can see, uh, because you don't want to see it twice. <laughs> First, get your polished blackstone brick stairs and your slab, then your grindstone uh, to make the wheels. I think that's about eight or so long. And then get your polished blackstone brick stairs and place them upside down like that. Put moss blocks one, two, and three, then white wool for like the American emblem or symbol. Then some more moss blocks. I do like the moss blocks because it gives off like a um, camouflage effect. Upside down polished uh, blackstone stairs again, and then the sabs all the way across. Here, upside down stairs once more. Then that's your tracks done. This is an amphibious vehicle, so it can go on land and water. The LVT stands for Landing Vehicle Tracked. Now let's make the armour that goes on top of the tracks. With moss carpet. There we go. Now we're going to make the um, underside of the vehicle. Moss blocks. Fill in this gap here. Make sure it's perfectly aligned. <laughs> LVTs were used all over the place. They were very popular in the Pacific for island hopping, but were widely used in Europe to cross rivers, swampy areas and landings. Strangely, none were used on D-Day though. Now we are going to make the front armour. and the rear as well. Unlike previous LVTs, it had a ramp on the back. Okay, now we're gonna make the front um, area, the front like cabin, I guess. And if you like, you can keep this bit open uh, and just use moss carpets and like the string trick which you saw in the G506 video um, to make it I guess more interactive but anyway fill this in if you don't want to do that now put some moss carpet but we are going to be making a machine gun on top of this so leave uh, some spaces so that the machine gun doesn't look like it's floating because that's not very realistic <laughs> Now I'll leave a gap for the gun barrel as well at the front there. There we go, that's the machine gun. Now we are going to make uh, the American emblem on the front with a item frame and a white stained glass pane. And then get your redstone torch and a, an iron trapdoor for some reversing lights and another um, emblem at the back. But ladders in between first. Do not make the mistake I'm about to make. <laughs> at least on um, PS4 or Bedrock Edition. Um, redstone doesn't work like that. <laughs> but I'm not much of a redstoner, so how should I know? <laughs> There you are. Now ladders inside here as well. On the inside of the ramp. You can put vehicles uh, uh, on the inside as well. Uh, 
Okay, now we are going to make the machine gun on the front with an end rod. Like so, diagonally upwards from the emblem. And moss carpet on top there to fill it in. Then we are going to make the machine guns on the inside of the buffalo, which look very good when you've got lots of men in, uh, in there as well. But if you're having vehicles, do not add the machine guns. I quite like having the machine guns on uh, the fences, like you can see here. They also work on the andesite wall and on uh, end rods as well. But place them next to the emblem, the white emblem on the inside, as you can see here. Dark oak fence gate on the front and an open one on the back for like the, the handles, I guess. But yeah, you can see I'm using an end rod to uh, as the like machine gun stand. One on each side. There we go. Now we are going to build the big machine gun on the top. So andesite wall, polished blackstone wall and polished blackstone. Uh, and don't forget your chains on the front to make the um, gun barrel. We'll also be using a grindstone for the ammunition um, magazine. So place grindstone on the blackstone, uh, polished blackstone block. And then chains on the front. One, two, there we go. And moss carpets on top for a bit more of a camouflage effect. One, two. Uh, you can add some more, like I'm doing here, but I personally I think that just two work quite well. The grindstone uh, on top of the grindstone isn't bad either. And I think that's it. Finished. Please subscribe.